I know you've been tallying the cost of the uh, of our support of the Ukraine. Yes. And um, looking at where we are exactly, and uh, I think we might have broke the bank. As today, I oh. actually about an hour before we came on, I saw that thirty-one tanks are on their way to the Ukraine at a price tag of. What'd you say? About a about a buck and a half each, about a million and a half. You know, I I actually looked that up, and I was really off. So when they originally like one of the first uh, these tanks, I don't know if they still are, but they they were they were built in the Detroit area of General General Dynamics, uh, at built these uh, these tanks, and I want to say the first order of. It was like a hundred or so. Uh, the first hundred tanks was like three hundred and nine. Uh, it was like three million a tank, and then it, then I looked at another thing, and they said, you know, it's like six. Now the new ones uh, adjusted to inflation are like almost nine million dollars a piece. So the, I mean, just like anything else. You know, a tank in 1980, a tank in 2023. Sure. When these you know. can, these have fuel options now, of course, the diesel or the jet fuel. Yes, that, I, that um, was my, that was, I think, or orange juice. Yeah, that was my favorite thing, the, 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 the guy from the Pentagon saying that uh, we can't send these because it's uh, just not economical since they run on jet fuel or kerosene or fucking anything else you've got in your house. What a bunch of shit. So the Abrams tank. T- tell the you're a, you're a military guy. We're not. Tell us the benefit of the Abrams tank. Um, the Abrams tank, a was. I mean, it'll flat do fifty miles an hour on a flat surface. I mean, on a road, it'll go fifty miles an hour. Um, they're, ga- they're of course they're gas hogs. Um, I want to think that flat surface, maybe three miles to the gallon, uh, battlefield conditions, maybe 0.6. Mm. You know, so I mean, they're they're, they're gas hogs. Um, they got a one, uh, 120 millimeter uh, smooth bore uh, main tank, main gun, uh, and that can be fired. Uh, I think the la- they have a laser um, like type thing that can hook. And uh, and establish where even if, if if it's going over, you know, terrain like that, it locks. Yeah, right? the, the the barrel still fires at about three hundred meters. They 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 don't miss. Um, <clears throat> so, I, I I looked up now. I don't know how I, I don't know how correct this is, and if somebody out there can find in, any information, we have only lost since the conception and they've built 10,500 of these M1 tanks. So since the conception of the tank, we've lost nine of them. That's incredible. Seven to friendly fire and two that we destroyed because we didn't want to get them in the Iraqis' hands. So in essence, we've never lost one of these tanks in battle. Hmm. If you guys remember when it was the, going to be the mother of all wars and uh, Saddam Hussein, you know, had his imperial guard and, you know, they, they brought, God, I forget how much armor they had, but we had these little, little, little pesky things called A-10s, warthogs, and then we just went up and down the columns and just annihilated. And the Russians have T-72s, T-80s, and then T-90s. And then now they have, it's called a T-14 Armada. And that's their newest tank. It's been, uh, it was basically designed 2015. Um, it's very, very, very expensive, of course, to, to make, especially if you're making protos. Um, but they're now saying, and you know, take this with a grain of salt in your own classified information, that they they they've spotted twenty such tanks uh, that that are yeah this is their newest um, 
that people are wondering what that that's that's actually armor uh, plating. A lot of that stuff will ha- as the round gets closer, it explodes outwards to t- to make the impact uh, in between the vehicle and the uh, round itself before it makes actual contact with the the armored vehicle. So, but that that that, that that's the armada. It's a three man crew, and they they sit in a, in a an armored capsulized uh, area inside the, the battle tank, and it's not uh, they're, they're 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 not around the ammunition and everything else. So survivability uh, and that is supposed to be greater mm. if you can fucking make one. Mm-hmm. So, so that's what the Russians are are unveiling. So they say, but I mean, they, as far as I'm concerned, man, it, I, every time I watch the news, boy, there's a bunch of rusted pieces of shit laying around that got, got the fuck blown out by some Ukrainians. Well, they're getting rid of those first before they. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they're going to try and wear down the. It's dodgeball. Uh, Put the kids out there with the glasses first. Exactly. <laughs> then it becomes a game. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we're, we're, we're sending them all, all together. We're going to send them 100 tanks, everybody. Germany kicking in 10. Right. We, st- we still need, you know, a, a 60, I think, to, or, or 59. I think we 31 and then 10 and then but, but, see what but, else but everybody got. else, everybody else that has a Leopard 2, uh, now because Germany gave the okay because we sent the Abrams, um, they, uh, they are giving the okay for Poland. I think maybe Norway has some, some of the other, uh, NATO uh, countries have, uh, the leopards. So they're, they're saying it's, it's close to with the, with the 10, it'll be close to 70 with the 30 we give them. It'll be a, 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 a real close to a hundred, uh, main battle okay. tanks. All right. Good to but see it, everyone it, participating. Yeah. Sweden they're, getting involved. They're going to send a Schwinn. What are they going to send? Yeah. Some, some, some cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking wheel of cheese. So I heard you had a successful pitch to NBC. Oh, I'm unbelievable. About your uh, new yeah, show. It's unbelievable. Breaking news. Breaking news. So, you know, the, the chance of, of, of ever getting anything, I mean, even to development, but the, I, I, I went ahead and, and pitched today, and I said to them, I said, this is the concept. I said, so you're telling me, this is the name of the show, so you're telling me you don't have classified information. I love it. And you got three people, they question them, and of course, by the end of the show, they all say nothing. Then two days later, everybody... Mm-hmm. has classified information including the live studio audience they yeah say. everybody i mean <laughs> it, 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 under it, the it, seats at this point you know you ever heard of heifer heifer yeah heifer where you could like it, it, at christmas time you can buy somebody like a a, a, a cow <laughs> like you yeah you no you, you, i you, never no, you, you so you give money yeah and like my wife and i are, are, are huge on doing this and you'll get like a couple of cows, some goats, and you'll send it to like a, a, a tribe or some some underprivileged people, and, and they, if maybe Steve, you can find a, a Heifer International. It's a, a oh, I a, thought for a minute you were sending it to Steve. I, I, no, no, he, he's just, plenty well but, fed. He doesn't need any more food sent to him. Believe me. No, so um, I think it's, instead of uh, Heifer this this uh, this Christmas, a lot of people will probably be. Uh, sending them, I'm gonna, yeah, there it is, Heifer International. Wow, okay. And, uh, I mean, it's a great, it's a great, if you, for people that have it, and we all have those people that don't have, you know, that have everything. This is just something that's, uh, um, it's my, my wife and I send this as for, everybody gets this for Christmas. This is what you get. You get a card that says that you gave a, a cow or, you know, I prefer the I, crab cakes if if I have a choice. <laughs> to be honest, the Jimmy well, Seafood. But this this year we're we're actually going to give out classified information. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> yeah, have a little bit laying around. Yeah, I just I mean, well, who doesn't? Fuck. It's right next to it's right next to my fucking uh, autograph LK line uh, picture and a and a and a bat day when I was at my uncle's house in Strongville. We went to the Cleveland Indians game. Uh, what do I have here? A banner, an <laughs> Art Shamsky card. Up, up. FBI 1977. Holy shit. <clears throat> Oh, if you have any of those Kennedy ones, I'd like to take a look at those. Yeah. I, I just, the uh, only thing I could find was the actual autopsy pictures of Oswald. So uh, I've got those. At least you got those. Yeah, I got those going for Good me. for framing. Yeah. Holidays. 